Thank you um, very much. I will try to open my own slides. speaker is that I'm also economist by training so I'm not, I'm not an open source and I'm not an IT uh, professional so I was thinking what am I going to do today since I'm not an IT professional I'm not sure I will bring uh, many uh, news to you so I, I decided to orient my speech more about the broad uh, framework conditions surrounding uh, IT openness and innovation and I looked at the title, which is uh, Openness, Open Innovation and Drivers for Growth, which is the title of this uh, morning session. Uh, and before I start my speech, I was yesterday having dinner with Professor Brawinol from uh, Berkeley, UC Berkeley. And uh, she, well, before she became professor, she was uh, an IT entrepreneur, software entrepreneur, and she also knows uh, a bit about that. And she is uh, currently visiting in Merit in the Netherlands. And uh, in Merit, there is a, not a young, well, he's young, he's very young, because I, I like a lot the end of the speech of uh, Mrs. Krause. Uh, he's very young, he decided not to finish his uh, studies. He's a programmer uh, expert, geek, I mean, he has a very uh, insightful vision of uh, various types of business. He's part of a research program in Merit, so with no PhD and even no academic diploma. And uh, he starts a business. And for his business, ah, by the way, he's Indian. He's an Indian in Belgium and starts a business where? In New York. According to him, there are two places where you start your business in IT, in um, Web 2.0. It's New York or San Francisco. And he chose New York because it's faster from Belgium. He commutes every day. And uh, that's a bit what I'm looking at today and in my speech. It's not really uh, IT user.